Just need to make this very clear before the video starts. This video is for documentary, educational, and news purposes only. Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist, and today I'm back in Amsterdam. And look, you might have seen the title, and you might think, Drew, what are you talking about? You're in Amsterdam right now. Amsterdam is in the Netherlands. What do you mean the Netherlands has just legalized and you're gonna go see some legal bud in the Netherlands? Can't you just do that in Amsterdam? You may have seen this video that I made a while ago about the fact that Amsterdam isn't actually legal. Nowhere in the Netherlands is actually legal. Everything is just tolerated. And the main thing that's like, I guess, more legal than everything else is actually selling the bud. You can sell bud if you have a license and you have a shop. But how do you get the bud? Because growing isn't legal. <laughs> and that's the thing that is having a pilot in the Netherlands right now. We can drive to Tilburg, which is an hour and a half drive, and they're doing a pilot on legal growth. So all the actual bud is actually regulated. So when you go into a coffee shop in the Netherlands, like right now in Amsterdam or something, it's not regulated. It's just like from a plug, just like it would be if you were back at home. It's just like, you know, some plug going to the coffee shop going, hey, here's a big bag of bud. So we're going to drive to Tilburg right now, an hour and a half drive, and we're going to see this new legal bud. Oh, this is the fucking sickest hotel room. It has a sauna. I have been told that it's a shop called like the Grass something that has the legal bud and maybe Tormahine or Tormagine? Tormagine. Tormagine. I don't know what the fuck their place is called, but whatever the place is called, we're gonna go. Ah, it's this, I believe. I'm mainly just looking for these legal ones. Okay, sure. Um, do you know which ones are the best? I do not like the most, so I won't like that regardless. <laughs> so the only two things on the new experiment menu that I was even interested in, obviously I'm not interested in a mimosa, and I'm also not interested in amnesia, but the fritter liquor smell all right, and so did the ice cream cake, and I've been told that this ice cream cake is fire. So I'm saving this ice cream cake until later, for, you know, save the best for last, right? And I did try this fritter liquor. Now, one thing I noticed straight away, as soon as I opened it, is th this thing claims 15%. And trust me, it's not. <laughs> like, I don't understand. So I've opened it and I'm looking at these nugs and I'm like, there is not a chance this is 15%. Like, I know you can't really tell too much from like, you know, it being frosty and stuff, but like, nah, 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 nah. Just like, Sometimes you can. Like, sometimes it's like too much to be like, look, this can't be under 20. Like, this is so insane. So I've tested it and it was 26. So just in case I tested it again, I got like a more scraggly nug, like, you know, something that would definitely test lower. And it came out 24. And if you look at the nugs at the end of this video, there's gonna be like a, a link short in the comments down here. If you actually look at the nugs and you look at what this looks like, you will also say the same thing. You'll be like, there's no way, there's no way. So like, I don't understand why it claims 15%. If somebody can tell me why this claims 15%, that would be great, because it's gotta be a reason. But for now, we're off to somewhere called like Tormachine or something, Tormahin, Tormagin, Tormagin. I don't know how the fuck to say it. Uh, but what I do know is they should have some of the experience bud there as well i don't know if it's going to be any different to the bud that i've got here um because there was one that i was interested in that they didn't have here they, they, they didn't have the three chem if they'd had the three chem i definitely would have liked to try that so i'm going to go over to the tourmaheen shop and see what they've got and um see what the situation is and also i should say i tried this one and the quality was really really nice it wasn't unbelievable but for the price especially in the netherlands like what it was 12 euros a g that, the quality was really, really good. The smell on it was kind of sweet, but kind of musky. And it was kind of the exact same thing in the flavor. So look, let's go to Tormagine or however you say it um, and see if they've got anything else for us. If not, then we'll just head back into Amsterdam and we'll see what this ice cream cake is saying. And also I need to tell you guys some more info on like how this is working because it's very strange, especially as we just saw they have two different menus. It's very strange, I I'll explain. Oh my God, it was rammed in there. And I'm thinking, I'm like, why is it so rammed in here? Like, right, I'm in fucking Tilburg of all places. And bruh, it's because this legal bud, the, the new stuff that they've got on there, six euros a G. Not, not well, it's 12 in the other place, right? Six euros a G. So obviously everyone's catting for it. Um, I ended up getting the wedding cake and the Skywalker. 
I like my Skywalker and I like my wedding cake. Although, I think the only good example I think I've ever seen of wedding cake in my whole life is Jungle Boys. I think every other wedding cake has just never been to that part. It's probably the only good thing Jungle Boys ever really properly did. <laughs> but the Skywalker, super, super, super interesting. All right, first of all, let's have a little gander at the wedding cake. It definitely smells better than most wedding cake that you would see in the Netherlands, I'll say that. If it was like a scale on like zero being like the worst wedding cake of all time, and then 10 being like the original Jungle Boys ones that used to come in like the half ounce boxes back in the day, it smells like a five. Like not the worst. Like bro, I would say most wedding cake you would see in Amsterdam is like a one. Interesting, it's very 50-50 whether I think it smells nice or not. And the Skywalker, let's have a little look at this. This definitely smells nicer. How old are these? It doesn't have a package date on it. The other ones had a package date on it. I guess I need to scan a QR. I think it's still on that same sort of level of like, like a five out of 10 on like, on like the Skywalker scale. If we're talking like both of these on just like a normal quality scale, I would say they're both probably seven out of 10s, maybe 6.5, seven out of 10s. But yeah, if we're talking like, like a scale of Skywalker, like the best Skywalker I've ever had in my life and like the worst Skywalker I've ever had, yeah, probably a five out of 10, I would say. All right, it's the next morning. I'm gonna go into the city and try both of these. I still have to try the Skywalker and the ice cream cake. I haven't actually smelt the ice cream cake yet. It's been open because yesterday I was just showing some people in the city center and they were like, oh, can I open it? And I was just like, yeah, I don't really care. So um, I just haven't smelt it yet, but it's been open, but I haven't smelt it. Let's, uh, let's give this give this a smell. I've been told that this one is the best one. Oh, it smells like proper ice cream cake. That actually smells like the real deal ice cream cake. A couple things about this that I've noticed so far that are kind of weird, all right? Everything only comes in 1G, huh? In, a, in packaging like this for 1G, like that seems like such a waste. The other thing, I, I can't remember if I've mentioned this in a video yet so far, but we should probably talk about it, is that isn't it a bit weird that you go in and there's like a fucking side of the menu that says like legal, we got legal bud here and then we still got like everything else. Like that's strange. Like that concept is very weird. On top of that, they still have to abide by the tolerated rules. And so if you don't understand how the Netherlands works, it's, it's never been legal here. And the way these rules work with it being tolerated is you're allowed to have a coffee shop with a license, which they don't give out licenses for anymore. Um, at least in the center of Amsterdam. I don't know if other cities give out licenses anymore, but I, I'm pretty sure a lot of them don't. With this tolerated system, nobody knows where the bud comes from because growing isn't legal. It's completely illegal to grow here. And that obviously means that the shops out here are just getting their bud from a plug. On top of that, they can only have 500G inside the store at one time, which means, you know, if they run out of something, they've got to send out a runner to rear up and stuff and be careful about which ones they actually keep high stock of. And it's just super long and confusing. On top of that, people can only buy 5G at a time. Obviously, most of this comes from it just being tolerated and not actually legal. So you would think that with it being a legal system, with it being legal growing, um, you would think that the stores would be able to have more than 500G in the store because, you know, the government knows where it comes from. It seems super stupid to me that, that it's all regulated. They know where the bud is, yet they can't just keep it in the store. Like everything's got a paper trail. So why can't they keep it in the store? I don't understand. I'm saying something's going on with the tests because I just tested the ice cream cake and it came up 24%. And I know some people doubt the accuracy of the test though, but it's accurate within 1.5%, or at least that's the, like what they can legally claim or whatever. And I find that from testing like medical bud and testing bud that I know is like 100% gonna be like within a certain range, it's always on point. Like as long as I've got, made sure it's calibrated and clean. And for it to claim 17%, but then I test it and it's 24, that is a massive difference. And for that to happen with the other one that claimed 15 as well, something has to be happening with these tests. Like, like surely there's a reason why they're claiming so low. Cause you'd think they'd be shouting from the rooftops so, uh, how high these are coming out at, you know? But it's strange. All right, so I'm trying that ice cream cake right now. And wow, this one is by far the best one. Proper ice cream cake. Maybe not quite as clean as the others. Like it's still pretty white ash, but it's not stupid. Stupid clean. Like, I think the other ones are cleaner, but the flavor just comes out a little bit more on this one. I think just because they must have a really good generic of it. Um, but yeah, coming out really, really nice, the ice cream cake. All right, I'm back in the UK. I'm just editing this up and I seem to have lost the footage where I say my thoughts on the wedding cake and the Skywalker. So I just figured I would say that here and then also my conclusion now. So the wedding cake was all right. I think what I said in the first bit about the smell was pretty much the same in the flavor. It was basically a five out of 10. For six quid a G for a five out of 10, that's not too bad. And then the Skywalker also at the same price, 
uh, the, the nugs that I had weren't really that great. And that's kind of the sad thing about it coming in a 1G pre-bagged thing. Like you can't see what you're getting. And what I got in that bag was like some tiny little scraggly nugs that were basically just leaf. So it wasn't very good. All in all, I think my conclusion here is it's a good idea, but you can't have a legal system with tolerated rules. It doesn't make any sense. You've got to change the rules to like a new legal system.